I would honestly just, I would like to see him just kind of come across Flash one day. Uh, maybe not yeah, in costume, yeah, right. you know, like out of costume, just like at the grocery store. Uh, they can kind of grab the same piece of fruit and kind of look up and just have that <laughs> moment of like, oh, shit. <laughs> And I'm Jensen Ackles. Hey, I'm Chase Crawford. I play The Deep on The Boys. Yeah, and I'm Jesse T. Usher. I play A-Train. And we're going to be reacting to what? <laughs> One job. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be reacting to some of The Boys' most iconic moments. Here we go. Hey. Hey. Such a talented young kid. He was really difficult to work with. So demanding. Yeah, there was a lot of WTFs. Uh, I think. I think when you watch the boys, um, but knowing Eric Kripke as as well as I have and as long as I have, um, it it just feels like, oh, he's finally found his, he's finally found his rhythm. The biggest WTF moment for me would probably be in the very first. 15, 10, 15 minutes of season three, and I think you know what I'm talking about. It's explosive. <laughs> Let's just say that. Oh man, such big energy. It was also hot as heck outside that day. It was like oh, really was humid. Yeah. We were in Hamilton. Watching Shockwave come out of the tunnel, it was just like the moves that he was doing, like the way he was interacting with the crowd. I felt like as a train, it was giving me a lot of like really natural inspiration because I just hated it. I hated it so much. You know what I mean? He like kept doing this, and I was like, man, <laughs> I was like, I better beat this guy. <laughs> like, yeah, like it was, it was, it was a lot of fun though. We had a great time. Oof, man. I don't know if A Train would get along with anybody. The deep, the deep in the Star Lord, probably. Yeah. From <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. The Gar Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, it was probably my yeah. favorite. Yeah. He'd yeah. fit in there. Yeah, into the gang. Yeah. He, he honestly good. would. For me, well, let's see. Like, who's who's the most full of themselves? I feel like you know A Train and uh, someone can go back and forth to see like who's the best. Of the best. I would honestly just I would like to see him just kind of come across Flash one day. Uh, maybe not yeah, in costume, yeah, right. you know, like out of costume, just like at the grocery store. Uh, they can kind of grab the same piece of fruit and kind of look up and just have that <laughs> moment of like, oh, shit. <laughs> that would be nice. How far? A mile. Right there. Those guys are handsome. You know, oh, roguish God. looking bunch. <laughs> roguish looking bunch. <laughs> You actually drove that day. You were, you were I did. driving that boat. I did drive that boat. And in true boys fashion, like all the vehicles, it was a, quite a dilapidated boat. We were working <laughs> with it all day. I mean, like, I was going, getting major speed on it. At the end of the day, I noticed that I wasn't getting enough power and enough speed out of the boat. And so we went to the back and opened up the hatch, and it was filled with water. It was sinking. It was we literally sinking. had to abandon the boat, and it sank before we got the last shot. True story. That's a really good question. I know what scene I'd like to be removed from. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably like to go do some of the stuff that the boys get to do. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like some of the action stuff. Maybe the boat. I was going to say, riding around the boat. Minus all the blood. I don't know if I'd want to get those buckets of blood thrown on me you know, every day. I would love to, to, to be a fly on the wall in the uh, the conference room there at Vought Tower when, yeah. when they're having their little round tables when Homelander gets, uh, you know, gets pissed off about something. I always find that that's uh, there's some really good, good juicy stuff in that uh, in that set. There's that moment when Black Noir is like hunting the boys down, and he follows them to like Billy Butcher's aunt's house, I think. Right, right, right. And they right. have that like really insane um, like battle thing that happens, the explosion and all that kind of stuff. I felt like that would have been a nice moment to be like spliced in. Yeah, that's awesome. You are so beautiful. No. <laughs> to me. <laughs> you is that the? Oh are yeah, I know, I know what that is. So <laughs> oh, that was a fun day actually. We kind of had the whole day to play around and uh, do that mushroom trip scene. And, and Phil Screech, uh, we love him. He's like our resident director producer. He he filmed it the whole day. He just kept. He said, "What about this shot? What about this shot?" He, he got like the the track out, and we so we got to really piece it out and really give it like a, a long like seven hour deal but the singing they had hired like 
uh, like a like a Broadway th like a musical theater actor to like help me out with the with the gills. I mean, he was he was doing the lines of of the gills and also helping like keep me on on key of the song, which it, you know didn't need to be didn't need to be sung well, but it, you know it, it it definitely helped a lot. So that was uh, that was a fun day. We have a few. Yeah, I was gonna say there's a bunch of group chats. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. There's some text threads. Yeah. There's some threads. The most active member in the group chat is probably me, to be honest. <laughs> me or Jack. Yeah, Jack's pretty good. Jack's always pretty good, yeah. Mm -hmm. The wonderful thing about working on the boys is we really uh, are yeah, have become quite tight and we are, you know, a solid family. We hang out in Los Angeles, wherever mm -hmm. we're at, in, in Toronto, it's, it's great. Try to like plan things together and like, yeah. <laughs> That scene was like built out into so many intricate moments. I had no idea how that was gonna cut together. Most of the time that right. we spent shooting that was was done standing perfectly still. Erin would be there, you know, play Starlight, and she would just kind of be standing there with her hands out, and I would stand on the other side of this warehouse and literally just like run from one mark to the other, hold for a while, run to the other mark and hold, <laughs> and like hold in position for a second. <laughs> And then like turn my head, like everything happened like individually, like every look, every like thought process, everything had to be captured individually. And then they like uh, slowed it down right. and built it out into that scene. It was really intricate. Maybe we can use it to blow Homelander's brains out. He yeah, did, did not like the catering that day. That and, uh, uh, yeah, I was just saying hi to an old friend. Yeah, I can't really say a whole lot other than Soldier Boy has uh, he has a bit of a vendetta, and he's he's got some names on his list, and I, I believe he was crossing one off there. I'd love to circle back with you after the show has been after season three is, is completed. Let's just say it's we were talking about this earlier. Uh, I saw things and were part part of things that I can't unsee anymore. <laughs> Man, great work, Jack Quaid. Jack took a, uh, it was like a, a, a blood and wind cannon to the face, take after take after take. They laced the ground with uh, like silicone beads so that I can like slide into place and oh, then wow. like eventually run away from that. I don't know how he was able to hold character like that because it wasn't, it was not like a normal thing to, <laughs> to be a part of. It's, your girlfriend is there and then she's not and they're yelling, three, two, one, and throwing blood in your face and then shooting you with this huge wind cannon. <laughs> so he's literally just standing there and goes, yeah. and he just like reacts so normally. And I'm like, yo, are you okay, man? Like, he's like, yeah, it's fine. You know, his hair swooped to the side and there's blood everywhere. It was crazy. <laughs> that means you a promise. <laughs> it's really hard not to laugh oh, during face. that slow-mo reaction. To the dolphin coming out. That was a lot of fun to shoot that scene. Yeah, it was a good memory. That part was shot at night, like 2 a.m. We're ejecting this green, full green dolphin through through the windshield, and uh, it was hard not to laugh, I gotta say. Yeah. <laughs> the slow motion eye contact was the best. We just broke down some of the most iconic scenes from the boys, and season three is coming up, so thank you very much. Please tune in June 3rd, all right?